Brucey Banners is in big, 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 big trouble. The development now courtesy of Billboard says Brucey Banners gun charge came after cops spotted him on Instagram, tracked him with a helicopter. This sounds like cops that have grudges. Why are they watching him so closely and keeping an eye on him in this regard? Like, what has he done um, that kind of would rile them up this way? And me, my thinking is that there must be something in the fact that he was trolling these cops a lot when they pulled him over and now they wanted to kind of get him back and they have got him back in the most epic way possible. So, a uh, free Boosie, but Jesus, man, it's not looking good for him. So, the article says as follows. Rapper Boosie Badder's federal gun charge this week came after San Diego police officers tracked his Instagram account and even used a helicopter to locate him in an alleged gang-affiliated neighborhood, according to a newly unsealed court records obtained by Billboard. In criminal complaint, um, complaint sorry, unsealed by Judge Friday, um, June 16th, federal prosecutor said Boosie... May 6th arrest was sparked by local police spotting a rapper, real name Torrance Hatch, in an Instagram video of a known gang member sporting a black handgun tucked in the back waistband of his pants. Fucking hell. So the feds randomly had a tag or had a wire or knew about this random hood guy in a random place that Boosie was there on Instagram Live with a gun in the back. Like... The coincidence is too much, man. Switching to Boosie's Instagram account, prosecutors say police used an airborne law enforcement unit to locate the rapper in an allegedly a gang-associated neighborhood of San Diego. After a traffic stop a short while later, they say Boosie was found with a black SUV with a matching black pistol in the vehicle. So the same day he was on fucking Instagram Live at this goon's fucking crib, barbecuing, hanging out, doing what he was doing, they spotted the black handgun in the back of his pants. He got in a car after he left and went back home. And on the way home, they pulled him over and found the same gun. They locked him up on the same day. God almighty. The newly unsealed documents reported first by Billboard detailed the timeline of events that led to this week's widely reported charges filed against Boosie by the federal prosecutors. The rapper was suddenly arrested on Wednesday at a Californian courthouse just minutes after appearance in which the charges from state prosecutors based on the May traffic stop were dismissed. Okay, sorry. So he got pulled over for that traffic stop. The charges get dismissed. Then he goes to court for that traffic stop gun charge. That gets dismissed. And then as he comes out, the feds swoop him. Imagine that. Going to court, thinking you've won, then stepping out and the feds look, and the feds grab you. Based on the, but based on the same May arrest, federal prosecutors may now have charged Boosie with violating federal laws barring a previously convicted felon from possessing a firearm. The rapper was previously convicted on drug charges in Louisiana, Louisiana sorry, in 2011. Newly unsealed charges documents offer an ample new de details of the events led to Boosie's arrest in May. While in San Diego, police detectives were conducting intelligence gathering by monitoring Instagram accounts of known neighborhood Crick gang members. Um, prosecutors say the unidentified man was spotted filming a music video in what appeared to be a backyard or residence. When the video was tagged with Booty's handle, the detective switched to watching the rapper's Instagram account, which at the time was streaming live on a story at the location that prosecutors say was associated with a neighborhood crip criminal street gang. So police are watching these guys' Instagram stories. They've got a fucking dartboard of like all the gang members. Okay, he's a blood, he's a neighborhood crip, he's this, he's a look, he's this, he's a hoover, and they're got them all there they got their handles they probably got a whole screen of their instagrams as soon as they go on live it pops up they're there making notes fucking hell according to the complaint uh, the information was then relayed to an airborne unit which prosecutors say was able to locate boosie and observe him getting into the black ufc U suv sorry so they track you on the instagram stories then they send a drone up in the air to then follow you as you're leaving because after you turned it off basically Yo, American police, American hip hop police are real. Police then followed and eventually pulled over that vehicle after the driver allegedly failed a stop at a red light. When the car stopped, Booty allegedly told officers that a security guard was in possession of a single gun. But both pistols were later discovered in the car, including one in the rear passenger seat. The prosecutors say it's the same weapon pictured in Hatch's rear waistband Instagram video. So what they're alleging, what they're alleging is that Booty got back into the car with that gun got pulled over and then tried to like slip the gun back basically giving it to the clip the security guard or just just basically putting it away from his person but because they were able to track him via the instagram stories and obviously via the drone they could see he had the gun on his position so he couldn't say it's not mine 
During processing, Hatch yelled at his security and asked why the security guard told the detective the gun was on the seat. Federal prosecutors wrote in a charging... Oh, my God. <laughs> Bruce, was screaming at the security guard in the fucking... Oh, no. SPD... SDPD officers heard Hatch tell his security, you told me you were in, you, they were in the bag. The statement demonstrated Hatch's knowledge of the firearms. It's unclear why federal investigators chose to charge Boosie after the state-level case was dismissed. Under U.S. Department of Justice internal policies, prosecutors sometimes choose to avoid filing federal cases after earlier state law charges. A spokeswoman of the U.S. Attorney's Office in San Diego did not immediately reply. Boosie made initial appearance um, in a statement. Okay, cool. So, I'm just shocked, me personally, why these goons at this level, when you're Boosie at this level, because you have to remember, like, I'm a big Boosie fan, so I'm aware that he essentially got away with murder a few years ago, right? Most people, if you're a fan of his, you know, you can you can believe that most likely he did it. Um, the rumours of him having a body or two may be true. So if you did get away with the murder, why are you still carrying guns as a flipping convicted felon? Surely at this point, I know it costs a lot of money to have armed security around you, but if you're moving outside and you're having to fucking make money for your family and look after yourself, you have to just have somebody else carry the gun for you because the consequences are too much. You have way too much to lose because now if he sits down for a while, all of his businesses, all the stuff that he's doing of his land and building properties, the stuff that he's got going, it's all going to go by the wayside. So he kind of does need right to really 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 mind these p's and q's but this is looking like a real big issue because you have to also imagine boosie's got a really long rap sheet he's got many previous convictions so this isn't looking good for the guy man he's probably going to be sitting down for a while i'm anticipating maybe a 10 plus year stint off the back of just you know nonsense you're going to a video shoot of a neighborhood crip guy who most likely you know so you should be good you show you shouldn't need to have a gun really because, you know, you're getting brought into a hood. They should be able to look after you. If they, if they can't look after you, take a security guard with you that's strapped. And then just, you know, could do it that way. I know it's hard to trust people because, you know, boosie has been shot recently. Um, not recently, but maybe a couple of years ago. So maybe trust issues and shit. And maybe you think the only person who can look after you is you. But at this point, being a multi-millionaire rap dude, you can't be going around with a strap as a convicted felon. It makes no sense, in my opinion. It makes absolutely no sense. But again, what do I know in it? What do I bloody know? Free Boosie, same way. I still like the guy's music. And free Boosie, same way. Free, free Boosie.